Hello again from my front porch. We are about to launch into the Thanksgiving weekend. It's an interesting time of year where everybody spends all this time getting ready for a big meal on Thanksgiving Day to gather family and friends together to enjoy each other's company and be thankful for all that we've the, the bounty that we've that we've had this year only to turn around the next day and do Black Friday where we kill each other trying to get the best deals possible on stuff we'll hardly ever use. <laughs> God bless America. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, but you know, really, the absurdity of the of the of the two days, Thanksgiving and Black Friday, how they just you know, they well, they're more like that. <laughs> anyway, uh, so but really, we're we're going into uh, Thanksgiving now, and um, the uh, I have a I have an itchy nose for some reason. All of a sudden, sure, start the camera, and the nose starts itching. Yeah, that looks pleasant. Here, we'll watch me scratch my nose on camera. <laughs> anyway. Actually, what I really want to talk about, not my scratchy nose, my meaty nose, uh, is um, the, the, the fact that uh, I'm going to be on the road a lot this weekend. Uh, and when I say this weekend, I mean the extended weekend. Because I'm supposed to go to Carol. Uh, well, Thursday, I'm spending Thanksgiving Day itself with my friends Tara and Jack. Uh, they, they do a, well, every year. They, 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 on the main holidays, they'll put together a big big meal and, and they invite all of what I call the misfit toys <laughs> to, to, to show up and, and uh, you know if you got nothing else you go go hang out with Tara and Jack. They, they put on a great spread. You don't have to bring nothing except Tupperware containers to take leftovers home. Uh, <laughs> so anyway I'm looking forward to that. That's gonna be a lot of fun but Friday is when my family is getting together over in Carroll and so I gotta drive over to Carroll and then back that night uh, and I'm a little bit worried because it sounds like the event I thought it was gonna start a little more in the daytime and it sounds like it's gonna start more in the late afternoon early evening and so that means it's just gonna be ramping up going in the evening and of course the weather predicts rain and dropping temperatures that's a bad combination because what my brain interprets that as see rain dropping temperatures icy roads and I have to drive an hour and a half back from Carroll to Des Moines. Uh, now granted, I'm gonna, I would plan to take uh, Highway 30 and Interstate 35 for, for the route, so, you know, theoretically it's well-traveled and should be, should be okay, but, you know, there's, uh, you just never know, especially as you get more into the evening and the temperatures are dropping, because if it's daytime like this, then yeah, you know, between the, the tire wear on, on the roads and then just the general ambient heat uh, and, the, and sunlight that, you know, it will, it will help keep those roads clear, but nighttime, eh, you don't have that benefit. Uh, and so, so that, that troubles me. Uh, and then uh, come Monday, I'm supposed to drive over to Omaha, be over to Omaha all day doing training and then hustle back here to head back up to Ames that night for an Iowa State basketball game which I'm excited about both, about getting to do both. I, I mean, I, the training I'm gonna go do, I enjoy doing, and of course, I haven't been to an ISU men's basketball game in quite a while, but I'm looking forward to going to, to, to this. Uh, at, but, of course, the weather predicts that late Sunday night, we're supposed to get, uh, a, there is potential for a big snowstorm. Uh, that, and they're saying we could get anywhere from a little bit to four inches. <laughs> I swear, the, the people who schedule cable company visits now work for the weather service. <laughs> oh, but so it's frustrating because the, the weather is this wild card. You know, I'm going to spend all this time on the road. The weather is going to make things sketchy and iffy potentially that may influence some of the, some of the, the schedule of events that I do. But then I also have to deal with the idiots on the road because, you know, there are all kinds of things that people do that, that are, that, I mean, like I always say that, you know, two of my biggest pet peeves when driving is that, you know, when, when you're trying to get in, you know, you're going onto the interstate and you're going up the on-ramp and there's a car right there in the right-hand lane and there's plenty of room for him to get over. There's nobody around him. Um, but you come up there and that car just refuses to get out of your way. So, and it's like, okay, okay. Uh, fine now you slow down 
you know, technically on the on-ramp, you do have the obligation to yield. The traffic that's on the highway has priority. But still, it's like, you know, come on, you moron. Can't, you, you can get over. This isn't going to kill you. You can, you can let me onto the road. This is fine. The other thing that really irritates me, my pet peeve, is when I'm driving on the interstate and I'm coming by an on-ramp and some moron comes up the on-ramp expecting me just to get out of his way because... <laughs> <laughs> Two of my pet peeves right there. <laughs> Itchy nose. Anyway, um, so uh, really, I, there, there are, we all have pet peeves about driving, but when it comes to bad weather or, or even sketchy weather, I, I have some serious pet peeves because I think no matter what the conditions are, I'm pretty good at taking care of myself. Uh, I, I have fortunately not been... <laughs> in a major accident, uh, even weather related stuff. And, and I've been, I've been pretty good with handling any weather condition. Now I've gotten stuck a few times. I've gotten frustrated with the slow pace of things a few times. I've gotten worried a few times. Yes. But I've never been in or caused an accident in, in, in those kind of situations in, in almost ever. Uh, last one would have been 20, 25 years ago. Uh, so, you know, it's, 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 it's been a while and, and I'm okay with that. Um, but my concern is not my driving. My concern is everybody else's driving. That's, that's the concern because when the weather starts to get crappy, then you start having these morons that don't pay attention to the fact the weather has gotten crappy and they blast on through. Uh, you know, especially with the icy roads, that's that's the one that really see when when it's snowing and there's a lot of snow coming. People tend to slow down anyway because visibility drops, and so it's like, okay, well, I, I'm not going to barrel ahead because visibility drops. So you know, you still have a few morons that think they're invincible, but for the most part, traffic as a whole adjusts to the snow because again, slowing visibility. But when the roads are icy. And it seems like the, the sky is clear, the road is clear, uh, it's, it's actually the pavement that is the problem. Then you've got people who, who don't respect that at all, uh, that, they, that they will just go ripping down the road. And I think it's amusing, especially those who are in four-wheel drive vehicles or you know pickups jacked up and all those kind of things. Because apparently in their mind, they think that because they're in a 4 by 4 they're immune to ice. Well, guess what? That's not the way it works. Now, having a 4 by 4 may help you drive back out of the ditch once you slide into it. But the 4x4 does not cause you any more immunity to ice than my little Toyota is immune to ice. <laughs> uh, so, so the problem then is when you have an idiot ripping down the road, not respecting the road conditions, especially in bad weather, they can not only cause themselves grief, but they can cause me and other people grief too. And so that's... That's really, as I get older, <laughs> and less, less bold, less daring, <laughs> I find myself more concerned about things like that. That when I'm watching the weather and I'm watching road conditions and what's going to be coming up, that I am concerned about not just myself, but also what is everybody else going to be like on, on the road. And so, like, again, I'm supposed to go to Omaha on Friday. Uh, or, or uh, uh, on, on Monday. So let's go Omaha Monday and then back from Omaha up to Ames. That whole route is interstate highway. So in theory, that should be okay, right? Well, but see, here's the problem. There are a whole lot, because of it being interstate, Interstate 80, Interstate 35, there are a lot of people that are on those, I was going to say roads, I guess they're roads. <laughs> they're, they're on those interstate roads. <laughs> that are not from this part of the country. Uh, that they, they, they may be from places that they don't have to deal with that kind of weather on a, fair, on a very regular basis. And so now you've got not only the people who have forgotten how to drive in this kind of uh, uh, bad or, or potentially bad weather, but now you've got individuals who just simply aren't equipped. To, to deal with that kind of weather because they just don't have to. And so they are completely oblivious, tearing on through things too. So got you know those things weighing on the head, you know. So I will be monitoring the weather closely. So my my right I suppose you would say my pet peeve right now is actually Mother Nature. <laughs> Because right now it's cold, and the, and if it got colder, that'd be fine too. But the the, the, the roads are all bare. There, there's nothing at all on the roads. There's no there's no problem whatsoever. And now I realize we still need snow uh, because I mean we need that moisture in the ground for later uh, when when after 
winter's done and you know you have to have that wa that moisture in the ground for the farmers for the crops and everything but I, I personally I don't mind not having snow uh, piled up everywhere especially in the in the pathway of my vehicle <laughs> But this weekend may be interesting. There may be a couple of, of spots here that I'm going to have to be very cautious about in driving. And I urge you to be cautious as well. If you're traveling, going anywhere for your Thanksgiving holiday, make sure that you are being mindful of what is happening with the weather. Make sure you're not just planning when to cook the bird, but you're also planning when to hit the road. All right? Have fun. Be safe. I'll see you all next time from my front porch.